Back on Awaken, the company is balancing more heroes. I have a huge appreciation for companies that balance often because it's needed in games like these. Balancing for a game like this, PvP and PvE is very difficult to do. But if you put it off six months, if you just wait and keep throwing out content without actually balancing heroes while bringing out that content, it just keeps rolling and rolling and making the game worse to where you have then all these heroes that are either underperforming, tons that maybe are overperforming, and then PvP issues and PvE issues that just keep getting worse and worse and they make the state of the game just terrible, which overall then, you know, why why would people want to stick around? You've got to have balancing. You've got to have balance in a game. So whether it's a nerf or a buff, because I know a lot of you out there don't like nerfs, sometimes it's needed. And they're doing a poll right now on their Discord. On their official Discord, they're asking you, the player, should they nerf this hero in PvP? Which, to me, is amazing. Like, they're... They have their finger on the pulse of the game to recognize that there's issues out there and then to come to us and say, hey, should we nerf this? Now, if they do nerf this hero, which we're going to go look at on their Discord, if it impacts you in any way whatsoever, if you think it's terrible, we'll cast your vote. Come over to their official Discord and cast your vote so you will be heard. If the, if the nerf goes through and it doesn't work out, these guys are balancing so often that they would change it. That's what I love about this. If it's a company that balances, which I'm, you know, I'm from a company that balances, I don't know, once every eight months, and it's a few heroes. So it's it's such a good thing to come back to a game now, finally, that does this often, that makes sure that their heroes are performing well. I'm not gonna say that everything's perfect. Again, it's a very hard thing to do, to get it right. But if there are these outliers or if there are issues in PvP, which apparently Hakron is making a very big issue for people in PvP, they're asking you to come over here and cast your vote for this because they're going to separate the abilities from PvP to PvE, which is, yes, this is what we need. If something is affecting us only in PvP, then make a stipulation within the ability that says for PvP, this only gives you, it's it's his HP percentage. It's his, it's his skill that gives everybody a buff that can't be removed that gives you 15% additional HP. And when that goes up to three stacks, 45% additional HP, it's too much. It's really big and the healing gets crazy. Shields get crazy because they're all based off of max HP for whoever's casting them or whoever it lands on. Healing is based off of max HP for those people who cast it or the person that's receiving it. It's all max HP, and to eat through it all in PvP, it's becoming an issue for those in-game stall teams. And I'm curious to see what will happen, so I'm going to cast my vote as yes. We have 1,329 yes, 658 no's. I just want to see what will happen. I want to see if it's better for in-game PvP. I'm actually not at in-game PvP, so it's kind of scary asking the public what they should do in this. But I want to see, what, I want to see the change happen. Because I do believe from the stall teams that I've seen, I've seen ETUP play a lot of in-game PvP, and I believe that this will make it more interesting. Now, I don't want to just go to all speed teams. I do want there to be bruiser stall teams out there. I want a good mix of both, and that's what this company is trying to do. So if you disagree, if you think it's a bad move, let's find out and see what happens. Or come over here and cast your vote because... If we got enough no's, then they won't do it. But it looks like right now it's going to happen. It's going to go through and they're going to make that change in his ability, but only for PvP. It's not going to affect PvE at all, which to me is the way that all games should do this. You need to balance it and this is the right way to do it. So I'm super excited. I just wanted to bring this all to your attention. There is a small patch as well that just went in a few minutes ago, actually. 30 minutes ago, my time, there's a spell adjustment to Water Prison to where it's going to remove immunity effects first, which is great. And then we've got a new rule set in Arena that you can easily see, interface here. And then for No Man's Land, it's going to be open for seven days for new players. To create a brand new account, it's going to be open for a full seven days so you can farm your skills. That's actually really nice. I'm glad they're doing that. You can read down here the other bug fixes that we have. I didn't actually read them. 
traditional Chinese air with moonlight buffs matching up. Take his turn before Gabeg when teamed together. Okay, so you guys can see those. But really, I just wanted to talk to you about what they're doing to balance the game. I think it's amazing. We've had so many hero balancings happen since soft launch to global launch now. If you go back through here and you just scroll up and look at all the changes they've done, you will see every, I don't know, few days sometimes, every week, you, you're going to see a massive amount of hero balancing. I love it. I want to see this all the time from every game I play, and I'm so glad that it's happening here. It just makes me feel better about the longevity of the game, and I hope it does for you guys as well. Let me know your feelings about all of this down below. Let me know your feelings about the Hakrin change, what they're going to do about his ability here. We didn't get the details, but we'll see. We'll see what they come up with. I'm sure it's going to be fair, and if it's not, then they'll change it. Thanks for supporting everyone. Appreciate all your love. Please have a great and wonderful day. I will see you all in a video soon.